Hello, my name is Max Rothbarb, and this year I chose to do my quest project on Johannes Vermeer. I started to have an interest in Vermeer ever since my family and I took a trip to the Netherlands for vacation. When we went to The Hague, we saw one of Vermeer's most famous paintings, a girl with a pearl earring. I believe that a defining characteristic of Vermeer's paintings is the light that he puts into each one of them. Since almost all of Vermeer's paintings exhibit exceptional lighting, I believe that Vermeer used a device called a camera obscura to perfect the light. This tool was first popularized during the 1500s, though its origins date back to ancient times. The device is a dark box with a small aperture or a hole that lets light in. The image would travel through the aperture and be projected on a mirror on the opposite wall so that it is flipped the right way. Even though we don't have any absolute evidence of this, we can likely conclude that he used a camera obscura from a slight mistake he made in his famous painting woman in blue reading a letter. His mistake was that he painted a slightly lighter blue line on the back of the woman's dress. This would most likely have come from the lens glare in a camera obscura. The first painting that I want to talk about is called woman in blue reading a letter. The painting was painted from 1662 to 1664. This style of art was very common in the Netherlands during that time, although Vermeer, of course, added his own twist. This painting is like many others Vermeer painted because he has light coming through a window that gradually dims as the room goes on. The same lighting technique that Vermeer uses in his painting of his he also uses in his other paintings, such as Woman with a Pearl Necklace, Young Woman with a Water Jug, and The Astronomer. The next painting that I'm going to talk about is called A View of Delft. A View of Delft was painted from 1660 to 1661 and is considered the greatest tribute to Delft ever. Interestingly, it is believed that Vermeer chose this vista to avoid a view of a powder house explosion that happened just six years earlier. This painting is yet another good example of how Vermeer plays with shadows, as he does in some of his other work. While the waters between the banks are dim, they still manage to reflect the city walls to create a great contrast with the corner of the painting where the sun finally breaks through. The final painting that I'm going to talk about is called The Girl with a Pearl Earring. She is often referred to as the Dutch Mona Lisa, however she is not quite as mysterious looking as Mona Lisa. This is one of Vermeer's more unusual paintings because the girl has light on her face as if she's being painted during the middle of the day. And yet she's in front of a black background, indicating mystery and the unknown. It is thought that the reason for this is that Vermeer wanted her features to pop out of the background. As you know, I think Vermeer used a camera obscura to master the light in his paintings. This doesn't mean that I believe that Vermeer is less than a painter. In fact, I think that this makes him a better inventor and visionary. Thank you so much for listening to my presentation this evening and have a nice night.